Fit and 10 Nation, it is day 61 of the Fit and 10 Challenge. And I apologize for yesterday not getting up to day 60. I thought I had uploaded it. I did upload it, but it didn't actually go up. And uh, and then of course I forgot to check on it and didn't put it in Slack. So had to re-upload it this morning. And uh, as you probably are well aware, it's in Slack now. All right, let's talk about superfood number four. Superfood number four is one which you may not guess, but it is superfood. And I'll tell you why. That is red meat, okay? So let's talk about why it's superfood. Red meat is rich in the following. Cholesterol, which you need. You need cholesterol. I'm gonna say it again, you need dietary cholesterol. Niacin, uh, riboflavin, basically all the B vitamins, to be honest with you. Okay, B12 especially. Iron and zinc, and it's high in protein. Now, the, the thing is, is you know, you might say, well, there's lots of foods that are high in B12 and iron and zinc, and, and well, maybe not iron and zinc, but B12 and other vitamins. Um, I mean, this is also high in selenium too. But the question is, is are they, is your body able to get at them, right? Are they bioavailable? Are they bioavailable? Because you can ingest something, but if you're not getting it, then who cares, right? So are you actually getting it? So let's talk about a little bit why some of these things are important. So zinc is really important for a healthy immune system. It's also really important for brain function and proper cognition. It's also vital in testosterone production, okay? Zinc, very important for both men and women. All right, selenium, this is, this is the mineral for fertility, both for men and women, okay? So we wanna make sure that uh, we, we get um, a good bioavailable source of selenium. All right, now obviously you need the B vitamins for many things, but probably the most important thing is for energy production, right? We, you know, if you're low in, in B vitamins, especially B12, you're gonna really, really feel it. And, and of course, iron in red meat, it's very, very high in iron, and we know how important that is, right? Uh, we probably all know somebody, who, or several people who've had anemia, right? Just not getting enough iron, so, in their diet. All right, now let's talk about, but you know, isn't it cancer causing, doesn't it cause hardening of the arteries, red meat and heart disease and all that? I don't know, but there's no evidence of it. There is no evidence of it. I'm gonna say it again, there is no evidence of it. You can't do a correlation, okay? Ansel Keys tried to do a correlation and he made up a correlation. I say he made it up because he only included some of the data. If you put all the data in that he had collected, there wouldn't have been any any statistical significance to making the correlation that he does. But as we all know, even if it did, a correlation does not equal causation, okay? I am a firm believer, yes, I will say believer, that if it weren't for red meat, we wouldn't be around today, okay? It, it's helped us, to, helped, helped us to survive. Lakota Indians eat up to four kilos, four kilos, nine pounds of red meat per day, okay? So, now, what about like saturated fat? Well, first of all, saturated fat is the most stable fat. Saturated fat is the most stable fat. It's the fat that is least likely to be oxidized. It is the best cooking fat. It is the most stable fat. It is the, it is the least carcinogenic fat. Like, I don't know where saturated fat got beaten up. I don't know why it got, like really what polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fat should be called are you know stable and unstable fats. So monounsaturated and polyunsaturated are unstable. You should not cook with them. Okay, saturated fats you should cook with. Saturated fats you should use. So, you know, um, this this whole idea of saturated fat being, being bad for you and cholesterol for that matter is slowly being debunked. And I say slowly because it takes time for this to come out. You know, like all this stuff is written in textbooks, it's been taught in school. You know, it takes time for this to get immersed into people's minds. And of course you hear about it for the first time, you go, oh, whatever, it's just somebody saying something probably not true. So, you know, it takes time for, for this to really, really come out. But, you know, I will tell you, there is no direct cause and effect evidence. There is no real evidence for this, okay? So, I don't believe it. Um, saturated fat, let's talk about that, okay? What is a healthy oil that you hear about, or a healthy fat? Okay, what comes to mind? How about olive oil, okay? You take four ounces of steak, which is something that I would eat, okay? I'd have about four or five ounces of steak in a, in, a, in a sitting. Okay, that's a lot of protein. That's like, you know, depending, like I said, in the size, anywhere from about 35 to 40 grams of protein. And you take two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay, two tablespoons of olive oil is something that you might cook with or you put on your food. All right, which one has more saturated fat? 
Which one has more saturated fat? The olive oil does. The olive oil has more saturated fat, okay, which is fine. I'm not saying saturated fat's bad. But people say that meat is unhealthy because it has saturated fat and olive oil doesn't have saturated fat. No, it does. Okay? There's like it's like it's it's complete nonsense. It's absolute complete nonsense. And actually, if you get wild, you know, grass-fed red meat, it should be higher in omega-3s. The supposedly heart-healthy fat, um, it's going to be higher in the red meat than you're ever going to get in any kind of oil. Okay? So, um, the thing with omega-3 fats is that it is essential and the body cannot create it. So, that's why we need to get through the diet. Okay? Um, so yeah, so there you go, right? So as soon as somebody says to you, well, that's really bad, you're getting saturated fat in your red meat. It's like, well, you might as well stay away from uh, olive oil, okay? So it's just like, I don't know where this stuff comes from. People just don't, like they just, things are just put out there and it's like, nobody really looks into it. It's just like, it's ridiculous, okay? All right, I think I ranted enough on that. Uh, Mess of the day. Um, I feel like I wanted to mention something else. Oh, there was a question. Yeah, I'm at six minutes. Okay, I'll talk about that tomorrow. Uh, Mess of the day. Something a little bit different here. Action beats anxiety. Work beats worry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not saying I'm drawing, I'm drawing a blank here. Action beats anxiety. Motion beats meditation. Work beats worry. Action beats anxiety. Motion beats meditation. Work beats worry. Basically, the essence behind that message is get doing. When you do, you build your confidence. When you do, things happen. When you do, you feel better. For me, this works 100%. 100%. When I am not getting stuff accomplished, I tend to get uh, anxiety, especially when I have stuff I have to get done. So just get it done and you will feel better, okay? Just, you know, and the best thing about doing, you know, the the... the I can find myself sometimes thinking about doing things and it's like, you know, I'm either dreading doing it or I'm thinking about doing it. It's like, okay, let's not think about it. Let's just get up and do it. Okay, so get up and do it. Do what you have to do. Don't think about it. Don't think about how hard it is. Don't think about, you know, that you want to do it or you don't want to do it. Just get up and do it and get it done with and don't worry about making it perfect, but just go and do it, okay? That's a big thing, all right? Sometimes, you know, um, well, I, I'm not going to go off on this, but just don't worry about being perfect, all right? So, action beats anxiety. Uh, motion beats meditation. Work beats worry, all right? Guys, day 61 in the books. Well, just about. You're on day 61. We'll talk to you guys all soon, and uh, I'm going to do some more shakes. I'm going to get a little more creative and stuff, so I'll put those up and... Uh, these will just be maybe bonus videos or maybe I'll throw them in through, uh, through the video of the day. All right, we'll talk to you all soon. I'm over eight minutes. Ridiculous. See you guys.